Well, here we are in the studio. And what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm doing a final test on the Hughes and Kettner uh, Grandmeister and the uh, Orange Gym Root number four. Whoa! Is this going to be warm or what? Well, it's, it's already stifling in here, man. I want to rip my Jimi Hendrix shirt off, but I'm not going to because I like Jimi. It's all over the place. In fact, he's watching me now. Anyway, the point is this. This one's just been cooking for about uh, two hours. <laughs> And uh, it was only on 7 watts, and that's fair enough, you know, I'll, I'll put the Hughes and Kettner on 7 watts too. And we have a, a sort of standard test here. You can see that I can put my hand on this, and it, it doesn't really get very warm, so that's already passed the standard test. You know, two hours of work, you can put your hand there. Look how easy that is. I'm back again. That didn't seem two minutes, did it? Well, that was about two and a half hours, and it's been... Uh, it's been rocked ever since on the uh, on the tapes and all the rest of it, you know. I keep going on about tapes, I don't know why. There's no tapes anywhere, not even in the studio. Wow. Anyway, back to this. Whew. Man, that's cooking. Well, we have a standard test for these. I, I was going to do it on the orange, but the orange won't quite hack it, man. So, so I'm just going to do the test on this instead. Well, I've got the apparatus and we're all ready and set to test it. Ready? Okay, hold on. What you need is a little frying pan, right? You put the frying pan on the top of the Hughes and Kettner. You've got to make sure it's been cranked, else it doesn't work. And then you need an egg and a knife. And what you do, it's all very simple. And there you have it. It's cooking. It's really cooking, man. I don't know. Let's give it five minutes and see what we get. Well, it's been cooking for about uh, 35 minutes now and uh, this is all uh, beginning to look pretty good to me. I can see it's going white. Just take a look at this. Whoa! Just let it go a bit more. It's getting a bit warm in there. Okay, I'm back for the final test. <laughs> this is it. Let's go take it off. Oh, the handle's a bit warm. I wouldn't put your hand on the top of that if I was you. It could be bad. Anyway, there it is. Proof, once and for all, that Hughes and Kettner make a darn good job of cooking eggs. Now, I'm just going to prove this to you, right? Because you won't believe me, will you? It was going to work. So I just thought, uh, I should have get a fork on it, man. And uh, eat up. Cheers. Mmm, Hughes and Kettner. I like it uh, sunny side up myself, but <laughs> this is what I got, so uh, why not try it on your amp? Oh, and don't blame me if it blows up, or the egg leaks, or the whatever you like. It won't be covered under warranty, because Hughes and Kettner don't do that. Mmm, mmm. I'll see you soon when we do another test. But I can't find any other amp that can cook eggs as well as the Cuse and Kettner Grandmeister, except the Tube Meister. So if you got one of them, oh, this is great. Go and have a go at the Tube Meister and let me know what happens. <laughs> JohnnyMcKenzie.com. See you soon. Rock and roll. Might as well eat it now. <laughs> Tape's over. <laughs> He's turned it off. This is awesome. Mm. That's amazing how it cooked that. Mm. I don't understand it myself. Look at that. This is awesome. You never even touch the hand. I know. Oh, God, it's gone off. Well, that's what you get from cooking eggs. <laughs> See you soon.